All right, so hi guys. Um, in this tutorial, we're gonna just check how um I will be making the the entrance of of the car. There is a car park in here, so I will be making a floor. And even though I will be um editing this pavement, let's say I will create a new one. Uh, for that, I will just start by uh, making a floor in here. I will go to my level. Stairs, I think, or street level. Let me check. Uh, so for that, let me just delete first this one and create a new floor. FL is the shortcut. Um, of course, I I did make this uh, shortcut uh, FL by going into KS, which is uh, and then writing a floor and then putting uh, the shortcut in here. So I will just create a normal rectangle from point into uh, maybe here let's say and to make sure it's aligned with this line and then uh, just check in yes uh, I will rise it a bit so I will put it in this level uh, and now I will be just make uh, a little let's say uh, editing in this floor so in order to let the car just uh, enter um, what I think is it should be until uh, the beginning of the pavement. So I will check. Let me just make the pavement first and then uh, I could uh, go back to it. Let me edit in place because I did make this one before, but I have to edit its uh, dimension. So from here to here, it's not properly uh, created. So let me just edit it. It should be, let me just check should be like, say like 120 or let me just make it as 100 it's okay it's fine I could even edit 120 it should be I think uh, even though um, what I think is I have to make it as a floor because even if I want to put uh, a curb in it so it should be a, a floor so let me just say now yes and then delete this one uh, say finish and then go um, to create another floor uh, create it from this point something like this make it as 120 and then uh, copy this one co from this point into uh, maybe this one make sure it's aligned with this line and then just drag this one into the end like this so um this is it i think for the pavement say uh, Yes, move this one now, edit boundary, until here, or directly align it, AL is the shortcut, uh, and and then uh, now we will uh, start editing the uh, the floor, so I will just sub modify sub element, and the idea is just to create a little like triangular one, if I want to call it, it's just the three lines, so you, you will be like you are free just to create two lines something like uh, like, like this and then another two line in here but what i prefer is just to uh, create triangular things like let me just show you what i mean by this triangular things uh, approximately from here and then just to move in maybe 160 is fine and then create something like this and then Even I need to just do MV for this point. Just move it a bit into here, maybe. Yes. Go to 3D. Edit. Just select this line. Since this one is 15 centimeters, so I will just minus 15. So uh, this is for now. If you want even, you could directly just select this one and just MV for move. Move it a bit inside. So if you would like to make it something like this. So... Uh, even these floors, I have to make them just to rise them, rise them a bit. Uh, now we will edit this one. Uh, this is at the beginning. So now we have to create a, a curb, let's say, okay. Uh, so, or directly just edit boundary. 
put it in, into here say yes so yeah i think it's fine now so let me just try to join them let me see yeah this is cool i think this is good okay um so let me just create a curve which is uh, gonna be a family so create a new family go to new family just create uh, from the english one just a normal profile okay oh come on it's not working okay metric profile generic metric profile say yes um this is gonna be 2d okay so since it's a profile just change the unit you and it's the shortcut and then just go to centimeter say yes um you could even make it a bit better if you just create rp as a reference line so in order to know this your dimension let's say so maybe we could um, the height is 15 so let me just make this is 15 and then maybe this one just make it as 10 for now let me just make it as then it's fine create lines so uh, this is my corner gonna be uh, if you have this thick line if you can you could directly activate it already activate it or as you like you know uh, maybe this is 10 and then uh, go maybe five something like this uh, you could even go down a bit like this if you like so I like this shape, so I will just uh, save it anywhere or even without saving it, load and close, no. Um, this is a profile, so now I will go to my architecture temp, uh, tab, go to floor, uh, you have to be in slab edge, um, create a new one, so I will call it um, maybe just a curve and then say yes, go to my profile we do have this uh, should be somewhere here which is family one and say yes okay uh, the idea is just to click this edge okay uh, let me try if it will be able to create i don't think it will anyway it's fine just select this one uh, so this is our um uh, curve okay um i don't know it's not able to to make it in of course in this direction let me just see if i click it in here i don't think it will work but it okay oh, we have to repeat it it's fine let me see okay i have to repeat it again come on bro okay it's fine just a curve and then uh, family one you could of course assign a material to it let me assign a new material right click rename it let me just call it as a curve and then maybe give it a, a white color if i want and then say yes okay apply okay like this and then like this so okay hl for shaded one for this one of course you will we are able to to make um a generic model if, if we want but this was the idea let me just even check another thing which is um let me just make a section in here and then uh, double click okay this is good let me just convert it or just uh, flip it let me just show you what i mean if this floor is something like uh this say yes apply yes if it's something like this the idea is just to go to edit to the structure and then just check this variable one so this is um, it i think